photo p t-shirts design hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can design your very own t-shirts in photo p so having said that let's just jump into the video now if you don't know what photo p is or photopia i don't know how to pronounce it i think it's called photopia but i could be wrong so i'm just simply going to call it photopia because photo p does not sound good photopia on the other hand sounds good so i'm going to call it photopia so over here on photopia if you don't know what it is it's basically an online photo editing tool it's like you know you could say like uh you know photoshop but for the, your browser so you don't have to download the pro this software you can just simply go over to the website and start using it so over here on the left side you have your main options where you have your drives your computer onedrive dropbox where you can download or get app and then down below you can see what type of files photopia support so you have psd which is the uh, photoshop file uh, the illustrator file the xd file sketches pdfs raws jpeg gifs and all of that right so almost every photo or image file is supported on photopia so over here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a design for our t-shirts right so to do that all you got to do is simply click on the new project or here or click on new on the file section from here so i'm just simply going to click on new project over here and over here we're going to configure our you know uh, canvas size so for that i would say that uh, generally it's you know 1080 by 1080 you know which is like instagram but i think you know shirts are like that or i believe the shirts are usually somewhere like 500 by 500 i think so yeah and then down below we have dpis which is basically called dots per inches which means like pixels per inches so each inch is going to have this many pixels in it so usually it should be around 300 which is like a good and a decent amount of pixels and then over here for the background we're gonna go ahead and switch it to transparent because that's much more like it it's much more better and gives us a lot of room so over here on the right side you will see you have some templates as well that you can use but these are like different templates i mean you don't have to do this but it all depends on you so once everything is done let me just rename it to t-shirt over here and then once it's done all i gotta do is click on create canvas and our canvas will be created right here as you can see so this is how it looks like over here as you can see i'm just there you go so 500 by 500 pixels or 500 by 500 so there are 500 pixels in the top and the row and the horizontal all of that so right into it so if you don't know how to design a t-shirt what you could do is maybe you can go ahead and find some inspiration you know go ahead and get some inspiration from let's say from pinterest as well you can find some awesome you know t-shirt design on pinterest or you can also go to canva as well now if you don't know what canva is canva is basically a free tool that allows you to create amazing stuff such as you know a video a presentation logo instagram posts flyers resumes and all of that and i've created a bunch of different things over here on instagram as well so uh, as you can see it's pretty nice so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and download some of these and you know create like a design element as well so i basically so over here this is pinterest and you can go ahead and you know take some of the inspirations from here as well so over here just simply search for um t-shirts so over here as you can see these are some of like the t-shirts design and over here you can see they look pretty cool like nothing too serious they're minimal like over here as you can see i'm your i'm mom's favorite or like this one right here i really like this one like it says san francisco it's just a simple box with like san francisco written in it you can go with that one or you can go with this one like calvin klein you can write your own message whatever i think it looks cool so we can go with something like this or we can find our own so what i would basically do is on canva i would like to create a design right so all i have to do is simply search for let's say t-shirts right here it's already there because i created them beforehand as well so let's go ahead and try to create one as well so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options these are like templates that you can use but some of these templates are you know not free they're like for the pro versions but some of them are for free versions as well so you can go ahead and download them but it all depends on you like this one right here i think this would look pretty good on a t-shirt design right all you got to do is just simply download the image and you can go ahead and you know 
go ahead and just remove the background and you got yourself an image and then if you want you can put it into photopia and then you can set it out and you don't know, do some a little bit of editing or stuff like that and you are good to go so basically what i could do is maybe like you know find some uh pngs or vectors or whatnot and i could like go ahead and add like a text or something so maybe if i come over to let's say a png site and over here on pixabay you can find those free pngs as well so they might not be exactly what you're looking for but you know they are pretty good they are pretty nice so you can go ahead and find some you know pngs over here so let's see Ooh, something like this would look good on a shirt i bet yeah something like this would look good so let's go ahead and download it i'm gonna download it at a bigger at a larger file size with a higher quality or i can't i'll just stick with this one i'll just put them over there there you go and then over here back on photo p i can go ahead and put the uh, image over here so currently the image does not look good i think it's because of the overall size because it's still not you know finished rendering this image but i think it it'll look good once it's done so we'll just put that over there i think yeah somewhere like that and maybe we can find some latin words that you know sound cool so let me see let's find some latin phrases so 50 cool latin phrases i have no idea what i'm doing but uh we're going veni vidi vici i came i saw i conquered i think you know what yeah i think this would look good so we'll copy this one all right then over here i'll add another layer and then i'll add a text tool okay it's loading up let's just wait for it to load up. i don't know why this image is not loading properly it's really frustrating me but i don't know okay okay why is this happening maybe it's because the canvas size is too small increased it to 1080 by 1080 that'll work i mean it does work but let me just increase the size yeah now it looks much better i don't know why that was okay so i guess now it looks much better we'll we'll stick with this one all right then i'll take the vinivici stuff and i'll put it over here where is the center alignment over here i believe yeah so then over here for this one as well i'll put it in the center for and also i would like to erase this one or maybe like delete this part or something yeah i'll keep it like that actually you know what i'll delete this one as well and then i will select the tools the text over here right and i'll select these texts i'll increase the size as well like maybe over here and then i'll change it to maybe bold and then i'll also change the fonts to something else like we have a bunch of different fonts maybe something like this and then also i want to warp it and i'll warp it like an arc so like this yeah wait it didn't affect okay i'll arc it and i'll click on okay so yeah and then i'll select them and move them where is the center i can't find it but i think over here this would look good and then i'm going to add another text over here i'm gonna add it over here and i'm gonna call it i came i saw and i conquered which is the translation i came i saw i conquered there we go that looks nice i'll wrap it as well and click on arch and over here it was 40 i think and we'll go with minus 40 but before i do that let me actually select this text and see that's 57 all right and the warp is 50 percent okay so i'll just select this one increase the size to 50 or 47 i think but and then i'll make them bold and i'll change it to this one as well yeah i think that looks nice then i will move it right over here and then i will wrap it as well go with the arch minus 50 here we go click on ok 
and then I'll move it at the top as well. So I think over here would look nice for this one as well. I think over here and this skeleton could look good over here. So something like this would look nice. So I think this looks good. So we can put this on a shirt and see how that looks. But generally you get the idea of how you can, you know, use Photopia or Photopia to create your own t-shirt design. So pretty much that's it. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.